Should we have a whisk off? Yeah, we go. I gotta have the on the side because of the boob lights. Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are doing a first Ooh. Okay. And <laughs> Sorry again. And on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are doing a first impressions video on the vegan egg. Yes, and we're going to make scrambled eggs and taste them and see what we think about them. Yeah. And it's cute because it comes in an oh. egg carton, but I don't suspect that that's what we're finding inside. Yes, I think we're gonna find a powder inside. 100% plant-based egg replacer. So you can scramble, bake. Oh, you can bake it. Oh, good. So maybe we can try that quiche. Yeah. So they're gluten-free, cholesterol-free, egg-free. And it says to, it makes about 10 to 12 vegan eggs. So Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. So we're basically just going to follow the instructions that are on the vegan egg packaging they have here and that would be fun if we each tried to make our own scrambled eggs. So I like mine a little bit spicier. Oh right, yeah. And you like yours with? A little bit of ketchup on the side, so nice and plain. Yeah, so we're going to try two different variations of the eggs, that way you guys can see how you can kind of put a spin on them too and hopefully they turn out. I'm excited to try. We've never found anything so far that it's a vegan egg. No. Yeah. No, no, nothing that's cer certainly saying that we can scramble it and yeah. have eggs. So that's or, good. Or bake. Yeah. But today we're just making scrambled eggs. So if you guys want to see what we think of the vegan egg, keep watching. So opening the packaging, let's see what we get in here. The big reveal. Yeah, okay, so you open it up. And ta-da! The instructions say to whisk or blend two tablespoons of vegan egg per one half of ice cold water until smooth. We're whisking it a lot because they say the more you whisk and blend it so it's smooth, the fluffier the eggs will be. Right. And so this is first impressions and this smells like what it is. <laughs> it just it smell like it does. It smells <laughs> But that is okay, we're still yeah, gonna we're try still it. We're gonna try it, so don't get turned off yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna go fry up our eggs now. I'm gonna be frying mine in some coconut oil. My mom's gonna be frying hers in vegan butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you guys how it looks and That's what easy. it's like to fry. Heat a lightly oiled skillet to medium high. So I'm just melting some vegan butter in the pan, making sure the pan's nicely coated. Pour mixture into skillet. Uh, scramble frequently and evenly with a spatula until the eggs are firm. Veggie eggs take longer than regular eggs, so that's important to note. And so we recommend six to eight minutes until fully cooked. The instructions say that the eggs should be sizzling in the pan, which is why we're cooking them at medium instead of at a low heat, which is what you usually cook your scrambled eggs at. And it's important to note that the smell actually does go away when you're cooking them, so no more stinky eggs. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we just finished frying up our eggs. We have them here. Mine are spicier with pepper. Mine are plain with salt and pepper with a little bit of ketchup on the side. Yeah, and I chose coriander and my mom chose parsley. But yeah, we're just gonna dig in now and see what these are like. Hmm. Wow. They taste like eggs. They taste like eggs. You think so? Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't think they taste like eggs. Taste mine. It is a bit more like eggs. Maybe it was the coconut oil. I don't think mine tastes like eggs. Huh, maybe I'm a better cook. <laughs> maybe. Texture wise, yes. But taste wise, I don't think they taste like scrambled eggs. I would like to see them in a quiche. I'm not sold. You may be sold. I'm not sold. 
I wouldn't say, oh my god, try the vegan egg. It tastes exactly like an egg. An egg. Okay, so I definitely am not sold on the vegan egg like my mom is. I think, yes, texture-wise, it does taste like an egg, but taste-wise, it's not eggy. So maybe if I played around with a bit more spices, I might enjoy it more. It looks like an egg, though. It does look it like an egg. It looks like eggs. It's stinky when you start, but they look like yeah. eggs. So just an overall run-through of what we thought. Packaging, 10 out of 10. Yes. Very nice packaging. Preparation? Very easy. It's very straightforward. Simple. Yeah. Cooking, it was a little bit smelly at first, but very again, smelly. Pretty very simple. Smelly. Very simple. <laughs> but very simple to cook them. And then final outcome, I'm not necessarily sold. They did look like eggs. I would say for sure they look like eggs. Appearance wise, look like eggs. Texture wise, like eggs. Taste wise, I'm not sold on them being tasty like eggs. However, I like them that they tasted like eggs, so I'm sold. If you guys want to try out the vegan egg yourself and leave a comment down below if you're on my side of I don't think these would pass as eggs versus my mom's, let us know. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye. Thumbs up is important. Oh. Um...